Yep. Sirhan, Multan, Delhi, Nagaur, Jonpor, and Baluchistan. Well, except for all of them, except for Baluchistan, have no truce with me. What? Really? All right. See? Delhi, Multan, Sirhan. None of these guys can join. We're good. Um, and I think I will... Take the war reps as well. There we go. More prestige. Get a claim on Delhi, which I've been talking about. Multan will join him. Ugh, so stupid. They allied in the meantime. Never used to pay attention to prestige until I realized it adds morale and AE impact. Yep. <laughs> it's actually insane. It's actually nuts how good it is for you. So let's have these guys do something like this and have my guys come over here. Oh, I hate, hate the idea of taking John Poor with uh, no co-belligerent, but I really think we kind of have to do it. Twenty at ad 100 admin. So let's have my mercs head over there and handle these guys. Who are you allied to? No guy? No. All right. Well, I'll probably do that while we're uh, working on coring up Delhi because we have to core Delhi, I believe. Where are we at here? Delhi is in a state. Yeah, so they made it so you have to full core Delhi now. Little brother's coming over to celebrate his birthday. Hey, congrats to him. It baffles you how little you know about U4 despite probably watching over a thousand hours of me who knows how many hours of others. I mean, I still learn stuff all the time as well, so. Yeah, that's totally understandable as well. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on him. He will call in Junpoor. This is a fake war because I don't actually want to go to war with these guys. These guys I will peace out separately very quickly. Let's get over here. I just want to peace these guys out and I'll probably take as much money from them as possible. Engage with the U4 since Quill's early access vids way back in 12 or 13. Dude, Quill. Yeah, Quill was definitely somebody who got me into EU4. It was definitely a Roomba, though. A Roomba is my, my godfather when it comes to EU4. I think that's the same for most people. We're also looting a ton of money from these provinces, so... Well... Some. There you go. Wonder colonizing Siberia is good for getting first to trade. Lots of ducats. Eh, it could be. That's fine. These guys over here. All I need is Delhi. But in order to get Delhi, so. So let's get over here. Let's see if we can do some funky stuff. Nice time to get funky. You are Arumba's godfather. These guys are attacking me. I'm just kidding, they're not. Oh. Uh, I'll take the Diplo. Score those two provinces up. I lied. Let us concentrate development and then core it up. Save as much admin as possible. Look at these guys over here. I'm going to attack these guys in Delhi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack... I mean, this is fine as well. I don't mind that. Get our boys over here. Good thing about Russia and Siberia is that you can trade company a lot of keys. Key states by moving your capital to Kola. Interesting. I have never done such a thing. Let's do something like this. Get these guys over here. 
They shouldn't be able to march over there. Yep, we're good. It's going to be so painful. So painful to... Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this is the peace deal. Like, this is what we're taking in this war. Um, It won't cost me any Diplo. Because I have a claim on it for some reason. That's okay. I was scratching my leg. I think I cut myself. Yeah, that's pain. Oh my gosh. 39 AE, man. So let's start improving relations with some peeps down here. Chagatai as well. We'll probably, we won't get a coalition actually. I said we would, but we won't. We're good. Those guys are heading over here. Let's turn off some forts over here. They don't have mill access, so they won't be able to get home, but I'll keep the border forts on as well. So we're good. Save the economy while we're at war. No point in uh, bankrupting ourselves for this war. There you go. They can go up the row. I don't care. Holy Indian Empire. Like playing in the HRE. <laughs> Feels like it, man. So these guys are healthy. Or happy. It's going to improve with everybody. I don't care about that fort. They're not, they're not going to take it. So it doesn't matter to me. And then while we are coring up these provinces, I will head over here, eat these guys up who are allied to a couple of people that I don't feel like fighting, but I'm going to have to. Our truce is up in October of this year. So the timing is actually going to go pretty much perfectly, which is good. Keeping getting AE because the previous wars you were in. I mean, it's just stacking up a little bit of everything, you know? Yaz, the autonomy higher than 15. Uh, I guess I can do that. That'll give me some Dimmy loyalty, which is good. As soon as we're at peace, I need to yoink more crown land as well. We just need to win this siege, and we should be able to probably get out of the war pretty soon after that. Get these guys over here. The force limit will allow it, so... Basically, I just don't want them to try to get into my lands. We need to w wait until we're done with some cores anyway, so we're, there's not really a huge rush here. Hey, nice. Money for professionalism. That's fine with me. So we're going to get these guys over here. A 502. We have more maneuvers, so we will not take the river crossing. They'll be there on the 30th. We could be there a day later and then a couple of days later. See if we can overcome them. There you go. And that's how you stack wipe right there. Put those guys over here. Start occupying his vassals. Teleport him over there. Not bad, huh? Auto's TC, one state in Alexandria, and bam, he owns all of the trade in the area. Yeah, I, I learned from Zlevik that uh, you can actually, like, stating um, just trade centers seems like a really smart thing. So I'm going to go a couple more months and let these guys improve. Oh, yikes. Oh, they're not doing it anymore. Very good. I feel like stack wipe depends on the dice. Oh, definitely. Punjab Separatists. Luckily, they're on the fort, which is good for me. I'm going to go one more month for the um, guys up here. Let's go with the improved relations guy. That would actually be more appropriate for what we're trying to do here. We should be able to avoid a coalition now. Yep. Sirhan, Multan, Delhi, Nagaur, Jhanpur, and Baluchistan. Well, except for all of them, except for Baluchistan, have no truce with me. What? Really? Oh, right. Yeah, it's him. This is fine. So this will give me a long truce with Jhanpur, which is fine. Yikes. All right. And all that before my truce is even up with a Jom. Oh, wait. Oh, it's up now. Very good. 
Because Zox got five units over there. Not bad. I will click this button here. Core it up. I am good. These guys over here. Talk about a speed run. Hey, man. Got to do what we got to do here. The Vassal Serhind we had before is actually what screwed us over. Get these guys over here. So my question is, is what is the meta for um, trade companies? What do I want to be trade company right now? So those guys will be there on the 20th. These guys will be there on the 24th. It should be fine. I think I would rather have core creation cost. Yeah. Or do we stick with lenient tra ta taxation? Now let's go with the uh, core creation cost. Would have been useful to have that a little bit earlier, but intense music ended along with the war. So we're going to have a lot of rebels in a lot of places. I am prepared to be quite annoyed with all this stuff. So let's send... Let's just get some more units over here. So six more units. Sounds good. Let's have these guys stand down here. So who's going to join him? No guy and Hormuz. Hormuz won't be able to get past my mountain fort, so I don't care about them. Turn these forts on over here. Turn these forts on here, which don't communicate. Well, these two do, or these ones do. This one communicates over here with row, so that's good. All right, so I have to turn all my forts on, basically. Just watch Habibi, TC guide. Snake the Jabo Genoa, abandon Iran. Yeah, we'll be Mughals soon. We have to core up uh, Delhi and the other one. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack these guys over here. Full annex them because I have cores. And then what that will do is that will give me attrition, I guess. But more importantly, four cores plus um, 100 admin, which is good. These guys up here. Let's actually just get these guys over here as well. Because I'll have to... Hormuz is going to be a pain to get out of this war. And I'm going to have to get him out of the war. Luckily for us. Nice. So... Finishing up this stuff is going to help us out quite a bit with our... Um, so I got separatism here. Novgorod still end node. It's not a end node. It goes into the North Sea, but it's almost an end node. Budget Monk is one who's insanely in detail with like how to create fake end nodes and such. Yeah, definitely. I remember um, um, CU King did one a long time ago, like way back when, which he's been, he hasn't made content in a long time, so. Kazan is a better end node. Legalism. Please and thank you. Let us yoink. These guys are still loyal. So our tech discounts are still there. I don't have any allies. Could I ally one of these major guys over here? Yeah, it's ally Gujarat. That's appropriate. We have plenty of Diplo slots, so we should probably do that, right? He wants to marry me. I'll marry you, bro. You want to buy um, knowledge sharing? My Diplo rep? Yeah, it's understandable. It's pretty bad. <laughs> All his vids were deleted. Yeah. Yeah, he got banned from YouTube. I wouldn't say it was necessarily all good stuff. I thought that uh, he made some good points, but I felt like he was kind of a toxic whiner to the point where it made it less enjoyable to watch his content. But I saw him streaming a couple of months ago. 
I went into his chat and I said hello and he ignored me and I said, all right, well, <laughs> that's enough for me, I guess. Always get up downstream confused. Upstream means, so downstream is always towards the end. So Persia is upstream of Constantinople. Constantinople is downstream of Persia. Down is like the it, trade flows into downstream nodes. That's the, um, you know, oh, nice. Uzbek is a good rival. Our PP is pretty good, actually. But uh, let's make sure we keep our PP maxed out. You suck. And I hate you. And then you guys also suck. I don't hate you as much, though. Making a series out of this? Waiting for a long time for a one faith with this country? Uh, this will be going on my uh, Chewy Vods channel, most likely. So if you haven't followed the Vods channel, make sure you do that. Because uh, Quag has been doing a really wonderful job keeping that thing running. Praise Quag. Subcontinent for Anatolia? It's in Europe, yeah. Oh no, it's in the Levant. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can actually trade company Anatolia as um, you can trade company Anatolia as Byzantium, which is hilarious. No, it's in the Levant subcontinent. But yeah, you, I remember because in my in my Byzantium run, I uh, trade companyed a bunch of stuff over here, and people were like, "Why would you trade company Anatolia?" And I'm like, "Because trade is good <laughs> in game." Yes. Indeed. So let's go for uh calm since it's a fort. Have you guys come over here? Have you guys siege these guys down ASAP? They're probably gonna run away. They still have their vassal over here, which is hilarious. Alright, very good. Apparently I had a ship down here. I must have integrated a ship that I didn't know about. Let's scorch bam. See if we can get them to run over here. That'd be fine. Get another general. Two siege pips, not bad. Get these guys up here. They've only got 6k, so I'm not worried about them. This nine stack should wipe them. Very good. Not bad. Snake to Russia with no guy. We're definitely going to be focused more on India early on. This war is going to be kind of a pain in the ass because we're going to end up needing... Did he just move like where he was turning he just turned like hmm these provinces are huge man oh right they're a horde yep i was gonna say why are they so damn fast that actually explains it better to own 100 percent node that isn't super rich than 80 percent of a node that is omega rich yeah because uh, trade prop propagating, uh, trade power propagation is a really strong mechanic. Right. I need to wipe this army out and then just carpet siege these guys ASAP. Oh yeah, I'll keep on him. There's no, there's nothing wrong with um, keeping my vassals nice and uh, influenced. Gives them plenty of spare mana. One day the provinces will be fixed. EU5. What provinces will be fixed? What you mean? What you talking about, Willis? Right, let's wipe these guys out in Asia and Africa. Fixed how, though? Talking about, like, the shape and size of them, I assume. Nice. Mill six, baby. Let's go. Am I the only one who gets annoyed when trade companies are split between states? Uh, yeah, that, are, that annoys me as well. Set mask. It's because of the size of the provinces. If they added more provinces, then performance would get even worse and people would complain even more. Bring on some cannons. No, that's mill seven is what you're thinking of. We haven't got that yet. No cannons for us. So let's get up here. Carpet CG's buys ASAP. Pronto. Uh, prestige and a level three artist or money. More money, please. Let's 
sadly. I don't have enough reinforcement to keep these guys all ready to go. Let's extend those loans. They're burger loans, so I don't care. Let's get onto his capital here. There shall be no gay here. Not my choice. There you go, Hormuz. Get these guys full occupied to the best of our abilities. I will definitely not lose a stab. All right, so let's get no guy out of this war. You guys are clowns. Oh my gosh, give me a break, man. They're really thinking that they're in a position to negotiate with me for peace. Let's get these guys over here. Oh, 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 oh. All right, no guy. Get out of this war now. Oh, yeah. That's good money. Ooh, baby. Nice. All right, cool. Um, those guys will be out on the 21st. This is desert, so I'll definitely fight them over here. That's perfect. Let's switch over Abu. Get those guys occupying here. Yeah, this war is good. We're basically done with it. They're heading on to Herat. Oh, no, they're not. Let's track those guys down. We only have a 3-1 general. Sadly, we're going to end up needing to peace out Hormuz in order to get this war. We're almost done coring up uh, Delhi. So this war is just going to be... We're going to annex him, obviously. Which we're not going to be able to do because strength of alliances and all that stuff. So we're going to have to get 100%. Province move speed faster in the regions or make it Victoria 3 is apparently going to have the ability to split provinces so I want to see that in EU5 kind of like create to rearrange administrative zones let's have these guys catch them out down here not Kabul you bastards mountains as well so i can't even really do much about that okay this is fine not losing money screw you suck on my balls let's get over here see if we can track force them into row that would be perfect nope i'm not feeling it they're definitely stuck in here though they kish and row communicate so nice get more caught up on diplo tech That is mountains, so I don't want them there. So I'm cheesing them a little bit. Ah. So what you do is you just reset your movement every couple of days. Wait for them to lock in. They're locked in over here. It's a minus two or minus one because of the highlands, but that's okay. We have a superior general. Might even be a white. It'd be cool if it was. It was. Very good. Just like that. Not bad, huh? get our mercs over here let's get mill access for one and these guys head over here because we're gonna end up having rebels actually we're gonna have re afghan rebels in row so go over there and fight them first might as well get these guys over there as well well actually we're probably gonna fight uzbek soon so we can take his cores. They have a lot of men. We'll see. I think I have to be at peace to form the Mughals, yeah? So we'll see what we can do here. Oh no, they're sieging down my vassal. Naj, you poor guy. Rut row. Ro o <laughs> We've won the Siege of Ardalan. Very good. Get the boys over here as well. These guys will suppress rebels here. Very good. So we actually might not have to fight rebels, the Mowari ones. Um, before I state any of that stuff, I'm going to end up um, 
making sure to um an enemy invasion you don't say oh no anyways the reconquista is upon us we shall get over here and get onto his fort use these guys to carp siege him down all i need to do is piece him out that's it getting on his forts and beating up on him enough that he'll get some war exhaustion is a uh, plenty of reason for them to want peace those guys are locked in, in so into Katif, so we come over here. Uh, I'll extend the paper monopoly. That's fine. AE impact reduction is huge. Oh. Huh. Okay. Ladislaus is still the emperor of the HRE. What a legend. These guys over here, they're landing men. Get onto his fort here. I guess I don't care about those armies. I just... I can't see them. That's the problem. Can't see them over the sea tile there, which is weird. So he's got rebels. Let's do a quick carpet siege here and see if that will get him on low enough enthusiasm. Oh, there we go. Not bad. And there you go. I will full annex them. I will leave Ardalan. I don't care about them. And a uh, nice long truce is fine. Revoke your cores over here as well. Gives me a ton of prestige. There we go. So now we got our mission. Admin mana, please and thank you. And, uh... State Delhi. Huzzah! And obviously we take Mughal ideas, correct? Yoink Dev? Yeah, it's from the uh, Artemis UI mod. Obviously, we take Google ideas, correct? Obviously. Well, obviously. <laughs> Do you understand how many cheesy things there are in this game that people be like, oh, no, you don't take this. You form this nation. You don't take that. You do take this, and then you do this mission. There's no Pepe Laugh emote. I don't know. The Mughals have arrived. I have arrived. So. Ooh, national unrest. That's useful. I have no national unrest now. Hell yeah. That is a sad moment. Sad cap up. For World Conquest 1 Faith, the 25% CCR is very needed. I wouldn't say needed, but very helpful, yes. So now, since we have that, now I'm going to wait until I get this. So that's 50%. 50% CCR. That's crazy. And then we'll rush through um, Diplo. So... Let's focus Diplo, because we're going to end up needing to get... Uh, caught up on tech. We're gonna go Diplo idea second So What is the oh my gosh Still have 20 CCR from Timmy missions, right? Yeah, we do for Well, we have land acquisition. So we have 25. We have this for another 11 years So who do I have truces with up here a lot of people suppose we could start oh, of course these guys are allied oh that's sir hind sang and sir hind oh that's nice hey thanks that mask i appreciate you muggles 90 percent no so it's uh 25 50 70 75 so it's 75 percent core creation cost right now well after we get this idea redeem stretch yet well sir lancelot got one a while back Ooh. you can only do it every once a stream because people were spamming it muscovy guy and you can't have nice things if people spam it <laughs> so i had to make it so people couldn't 
World Tanks winner. Still, I still owe him a uh, a person. A uh... let's get this stuff up here stated as well. So the question is: Is do I move my capital back to Herat? Two hundred admin though. Did not try to spam it. Uh people do though. So do I move my capital back here? Because my trade income is gonna take a hit. <sighs> yeah, I think we just wait it out. The issue is our economy is gonna tank. Let's turn my forts off. My economy is going to absolutely take a dump for the next, like, however long year until I can move my trade capital. Let's try to minimize losses here um, by collecting over here. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's going to be pretty bad. We're going to go from 9.3. It's going to go down to like three. Yeah, two. We're still in the green, so that's good. All right. Able to show the religious map mode? Yeah, sure. It's the same religious map mode in uh, 1444, mostly. Sunni, Catholic, Orthodox, Hindu, Confucian, Buddhist, Coptic. Mission tree moves capital. All right. So what is it that I need to be doing? I need to get Pacify Punjab. That will give me more claims. So I need to like rush down Abu Saeed. <gasps> I have him right now, don't I? Cav combat ability, claim on the Persia region. So this is just regular claims. Interesting. I already have a bunch of this stuff. So what I need to do is I need to rush down to the vice royalty of Deccan, right? So we have to like push for this, yeah? Because this is like one of the most important things here, right? Because something, something, admin efficiency, something, something, mission tree. Yes, that's what I'm... Does anybody... Can somebody explain this to me in like a TLDR sort of setup? So I'm not sitting here reading for like 20 minutes. This one, when provinces and GERD, we can do that pretty quickly. Conquer Malwa. So basically, I just need to push right through the center of India, right? Then we also have to subdue subdue Raj Pitana. So we have to get all of this stuff over here. Oh, no, no, no. We don't have to do this one. So this one here, this one here, the Hajj port. So go straight over here to Gu Gujarat, straight south into Gujarat, south into Bamanis. And then I need to do this one, this one, and this one. So that's going to be quite a bit. Mm. Conquer, well, it's central India. It's not just all of India, but yeah. Then you get the vice royalty of Deccan. Take Bengal on. Click button to get create happy vassal with 10% admin efficiency. Yeah. So let's get these guys cleaned up for one. That's nice. We got our... Um, Monopoly on paper revoked instantly for free. Let's go with... Can I... If I'm going to move my trade capital, can I use this? How do you do that, that, that glitch again? Eat India. Yeah, we'll have to for sure. If I'm going to move my trade capital, is that something I can do? If I wanted to stack my, um, <laughs> a few of them, right? Isn't it all you have to do is move your trade capital and then you can do this. I'm under the impression if you move your trade capital, it's much easier. Is that correct? Local development. Doing MP again? Have fun, Ari. Yeah, I can't remember how it works either. It's fine. It's not a big deal. The early corruption is nice. Not for the cost of manpower, though. 
What do the Janes do if they're loyal? I don't know these guys. Like, I just do not understand them. Dev cost? That's a good one. Zoroastrian run? Nah. Just look up a guide. Uh, no, I'm streaming, my friend. I'm not just going to look up a guide. Ramen autonomy. I'm not going to do that one. Posture check, Josie. Yes, sir. Let's sit up straight, everybody. Brahmin Council. That is fine. We got a bunch of crown land, which is nice. Um, should I preemptively be giving out um, governing capacity stuff? State all of Decon, click the thing and release them. Ten years later, integrate for free because you have cores on all of it. Interesting. Okay. How many subs for you to change your bikini? 60 subs. I'll change my bikini. 60 subs. Uh, let's get the Rajputs. I think that's fine. 69. Hey. Hey. That's pretty good. Let's see here. So next one will be... So what's the next move? That, that's my main thing. What is our next route of expansion? E4 stream in a hot tub when? <laughs> when you deserve it. How about that? Only when you deserve it. Oh, man. Because uh, yeah. <clears throat> cores? Yeah, that sounds good to me. We have a lot of truces with a lot of these guys down here. Our AE will tick down slowly over time, but we just kind of have to accept the fact that we have to stay on our toes or we're going to get coalitioned by India. It's just going to have to happen. I'm going to have to just brute force through India. The sooner we do it, the better, because as soon as we uh, get this culture group here, all of these provinces, we get 10% more core creation cost. Keep taking land in India until you release the con. Got to manage them truces. Yeah, I'm with you. So, coalitions are just a number. Yeah, but they'll set you back pretty hard. I could hire some more mercs. The free company. Let's take a look at what my economy is looking like first off. Need trade capital and trade region with 3TC. Collect and click estate button. Recall merchant to remove estate idea. Rinse and repeat. Need trade capital in a trade region with tr 3. No, you don't need. Oh, trade centers. So we can totally do that then, right? So yeah, sounds good. We'll plan on doing that then. So I'm gonna wait to the monthly tick, see what my economy looks like, hire some mercs. Oh, nice. I've surpassed Uzbek. So our economy can, oh my gosh, wait a minute, what? I'm that rich from taxation? Holy shnikes. Oh, hell yeah, dude. More money, please. It's a lot of money. Good money. Repay our debts. Let's uh, hire some mercs. Eh. Do we hire mercs? They're more expensive, but... Um... I think we just do it, yeah? Upgrade some Arcan? Why? It's like level two, I guess, yeah. This one we can't upgrade. Also can't upgrade this one. I do not control these two. 
because I said so. Yes, Massa. Anything you say, Massa. All right. <laughs> Now I'm just kind of sitting here thinking, like, what is the move? These guys are allied to Dottie. So... Kanga, I can co-belligerent Dottie. I think he'd make a good vassal, right? Because he's a Nepali kingdom, or Nepali prince them. So I could march him. That would be... Oh, he would actually accept Diplo vassalization. Let's go. Well, let's do that then. Also, Monument in Central Dobe is PK, is OK. Oh, this one here, the Taj Mahal. Eh, it's it's OK. Power projection from insults. You can get giant PP from that one. That'll be good. Hey. I got a $1 patron, my man. Can a subject form Nepal? Sadly, no. They cannot. Hey, Andreas. Are you in chat right now, buddy? So I'm going to try to vassalize these guys ASAP. Pronto. Letter of the law. Yes, please. So that means I cannot attack Kanga. Or whatever, Kangra. I'll royal marry you. And we'll improve relations with him. All right, later, Rory. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I always appreciate you giving me your time. Uh, certain nations can form Prussia. Yeah, not all of them. Mara and Yas. These guys would call in Serhint. Okay, so I think these guys, are, this is the move. Let's just get these guys up here. Well, first of all, let's get Serhint out of there. Had my forts turned off, so that's no good. Can't be letting them siege my forts down. That would be embarrassing. Let's get these guys wiped out. No reason to let them live. Do something like that. Get these guys down here. We're going to full annex him. I don't know about Sir Hind. I'll probably just white piece Sir Hind. That way I can get a nice short truce with him. There you go. Beautiful. Make sure we are boopy. Uh, boosting these guys up to the best of our abilities. His capital is up here in Jammu. So Sir Hin's allies are John Poor. So I'll have to break that alliance. This is really good. This is what I wanted. Take a look at how cheap it is to core these provinces now. 23 for a 19 dev province. Can't get your forts sieged if you delete them all. Maybe I will. Maybe I need to delete my forts, huh? You can move your trade capital or just capital to Persia trade node. Make more money so you can trade company all of India. Yep, I'm familiar. I won't trade company India, though. We're not going to roll like that. Get these guys a gift of a small loan of a million dollars. Then we just need to like guarantee him and possibly um, surprised to see Nepal OPMs are still alive. Oh yeah, they always are. What do you mean? Trade company is bad 1.30. They aren't 0% autonomy, they're 90. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, these guys became my vassal? When I annexed his overlord, I did not know that was a thing. Well, looks like it might be time to head into uh, India. Or not India, um, Iraq. There's so many ways that I could be expanding right now. I'm overwhelmed. So I want Sir Hin to just peace out and annul their alliance with Jumpor. That's all I want. A simple request. Put these guys over here. Get a general on them. 
expand in all ways. I really need to. Issue is, is more about handling, you know. So our inflation is. Our inflation is fine. So now I will be focusing on just getting admin tech so I can get admin seven so I can get my next idea group. That's the new move. Sir Hind, very good. Peace them out quickly. That way I have a nice short truce to them so I can attack them sooner rather than later. I will give these guys a guarantee and I will vassalize him next month. Very good. Lots of vassals. He's got claims on a bunch of clay over here. Joomla. Mr. Hoot. Yo, I can co-belligerent like everybody over here. Who are you allied to? Kachar. Joom... Katmandu. These guys are allied to... Whoever these guys are. Oh, they're like down here. So that's an easy one. Let's get him over there eventually. This war, I want this, but I'm going to end up needing to uh, get these guys out of the war first. No problem. No, TCs are 90 autonomy. They always have been. Don't need to own any of the Nepali OPMs for the Decon Vassal. Yeah, I mean, I'm not dumb. I know. Do you think that I'm not able, not capable of doing like multiple tracks at the same time? Hey, Andreas, thank you for your uh, your patron pledge, man. I, I saw that you had uh, pledged on Patreon. You're a legend. I think, lads, that we can make it happen. I think that we can expand in multiple directions at the same time. I think it's possible. What do you guys think? Can we do it? Can we build it? Wrong. You are fake news. Get down here, get those guys out. What's up, Bart? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, friend. How's life? That's a seven stack right there. Luckily for us, we got a good general. Abu Saeed. Marching on Lahasa. Not bad at all. Thank you, General Slavomir. All right, we can do that. Let's do something like this. Get these guys out of the war. Eight sap. Pronto. I'm doing wonderful. Slavomir, you shall lead us to victory. I have no doubts about that, my friend. Okay. Get these guys out. Take monies from them. Why not? All right. This button still doesn't work. They said they fixed it. It doesn't work. Wait one day. Full annex him. AE is not an issue. Very good. I will core you all up for 10 mana. Not bad at all. Let's get Abu Sayyid over here. Handle those rebels. Gujarat would come in on a pro or if I wanted him to, but I don't need him to. Let's core that all up. No reason not to. That will actually help our economy out quite a bit as well. Once we're done with this war, we can move our trade capital. A is just a number. Just became an affiliate on Twitch. Is there something I should watch out for? No, not that I'm aware of. What do you mean? In terms of like DMCA stuff, in terms of, you know. Zoroastrian? Nah. We're staying Sunni. It'll be much easier that way. 